Welcome guys to the tutorial. Today we will see how to set up a Ruby for Rails on Windows. For that, the first thing you need is the setup to install Rails. So just go to railsinstaller.org. Uh, once you are here, just scroll down to the download button and download the latest version of Ruby. No matter which version it is, just download it, okay? So once you download it, run it. This will be the Ruby Rails installer. Just run this thing. Accept, install, yeah, install kit and everything. Install, let everything be to default. So, so guys, once the installation is finished, just click configure kit and SSH for installation is completed and just finish it. So, you'll get all this. It'll just set up your get username and email address and version if you haven't already and what you need to do next is just type gem install bundler okay so this error might come we have a fix for this error just go to your c directory rails installer ruby binary file and find your rails rails.batch file this file just right click it and edit it make sure you use a thing like notepad plus plus or something like that now all you need to do is just paste this code okay I have this code in the description just make this change save it close it now this works see it's just as easy as that now let's see if uh, I think works rails new let's my project Now it should create all the files required for the Ruby. It usually takes some time, just give it a second. Okay, CD my project Bindle install. Rails server. Now we'll check that. In a new Google window, you can use any browser for that. 
so it's on localhost 3000 so we just go to this localhost 3000 just wait for the server to start and then we hit enter so yeah now the server is running so we hit enter and that's it we have rails running and successfully set up thanks guys for watching have a great day